NASA just made a shocking discovery on Neptune, and you won't believe what it is. Neptune is the eighth planet from the Sun, and is most famous for its supersonic storms, 14 moons, and a 165-year revolution around the Sun. In this video, we will be taking a deep dive into the latest discoveries which NASA has made about Neptune, so stay tuned. But before we go any further, I would request you to subscribe to the channel. Thank you! So far, we only have one close-up image taken of this mysterious planet from a spacecraft. So what has NASA discovered in Neptune that has caused shockwaves within astronomers? But before we talk about this revelation, let's talk a little bit about the physical characteristics of Neptune. Neptune has a diameter of 50,000 kilometers, which makes it the fourth largest planet in the solar system. It is also located at a distance of 4.5 billion kilometers away from the Sun. Neptune is known for giving a blue hue, largely due to its methane gas and its attractive ring system. Neptune also has 14 moons, out of which Triton is the largest and the strangest too. Due to some of its strange characteristics, it became a planetary destination for NASA's Voyager 2. In 1989, Triton was first observed by Voyager 2 when it flew past Neptune's North Pole by 3,000 miles. It is also important to mention that while we have highly detailed pictures of almost all planets of the solar system, we have a rather grainy and undetailed picture of Neptune and Uranus. Quite recently, we came to know about something really extraordinary about Neptune. Neptune is mostly known for its unique gas composition in its atmosphere, consisting of water, ammonia, and methane. This means that deep beneath the blue gas clouds, there is a significant chance that Neptune will have a lot of water and methane too. Astronomers usually refer to these planets as ice giants, and one explanation of why these have been called so is because they are surrounded by elements which are squeezed into unusual quantum states. The anomalous mixture gets thinned down as we approach the surface. This does not make for a whole lot of information admittedly, since we have had more run-ins with other planets like Jupiter and Saturn. What we know about Uranus and Neptune is based on laboratory observations and mathematical modeling. Normally, astronomers and scientists tend to rely on mathematical modeling to get answers. So, what did these observations and mathematical modeling reveal? They revealed that Neptune may actually have diamond rains. Yes, you heard that right, diamond rains! But how? Well, the reasoning is very simple. Material becomes denser and hotter the more it travels within a planet. Now, with limited information we have, we estimate that the innermost mantle of the surface will have a temperature around 7,000 kelvins, which is equal to 6,727 degrees Celsius. The pressure will be 6 million times greater than the pressure at Earth's atmosphere. Mathematical modeling also shows that the uppermost layers are slightly less pressurized and cooler. Now, the real question is, what happens to water, methane, and ammonia at these temperatures? At higher temperatures and pressures, methane gets broken down into carbon chains, which combine to form lengthy chains. These chains are packed together under extreme pressure to form crystalline substances. Now, when the temperatures increase, the thick diamond-like substances fall down the mantle layers until it evaporates, floats back up, and hence, we have the whole diamond rain cycle. But this is all speculation at this point, and the best method of verifying this would be to send a space vessel to Neptune to verify this. But let's remain realistic. Sending a vessel at this point may not be possible in the short term. Diamond rain is an extremely real phenomenon, which is based on the information related to the atmosphere, chemical makeup, and laboratory observation of Neptune. Also, we recently were able to get some amazing photos of a dark storm raging across Neptune's surface through James Webb's telescope. The pictures reveal a lot of information of the blue ice giant, including its rings and intricate patterns on its moons. Now, let's talk about all the possible reasons why NASA would want to travel to Neptune. Now, as we have mentioned earlier, we do not yet know a whole lot about Neptune. For instance, we do not know why the planet's magnetic field is not uniform. Triton, its largest moon, is equally interesting. Its physical characteristics have convinced space scientists that it once was a dwarf planet. Scientists at NASA are also very much aware that Triton has an ocean of liquid water buried in its surface. Now, with diamond rains and liquid water present on one of its moons, the trip to Neptune should be a top priority, right? 
but Neptune has been ignored for the past 30 years. For one, traveling to Neptune will be a rather expensive exploratory venture. Also, the trajectory is a big issue, which means that Neptune is a viable destination once every 12 years. This is actually where Trident missions come in. These missions may not end up the trip to Neptune or even Triton. Instead, these missions will fly closer to Neptune. Again, this opportunity is coming sooner than later, with gravity leaps from Jupiter facilitating an early launch window in 2026. This brings our video to a conclusion. Do you think NASA will be able to launch a space vessel in 2026? Feel free to comment. Thanks for watching this video till the end, and do not forget to leave a like. See you in the next one.